everyone welcome back to my channel so for today i would like to do a detailed review of my balenciaga um small city bag that i've had for about two years so i think it's a good time to do a um proper review of this bag so firstly um yeah let's go straight into it so i got this bag from my theresa.com like uh i think more than two years ago so yeah this bag i've used it very often as you may see if you've um if you follow my instagram and i've actually used it as a work bag as well because um it's really light so this is um really really good for work and i've used it on business trips this is quite a worry free bag and um yeah so okay after two years i would say that you know this bag has held up pretty well but um i don't really baby this bag but i do use a organizer so i got this organizer from samorga i think it makes a huge difference when you have an organizer in the balenciaga bags because um they are quite slouchy and i know um you know like the slouchy look some people prefer the slouchy look but me not that much so even though i like the look of the balenciaga bag i still wanted it to keep the structure so i bought this samorga organizer as you can see so without the organizer it's quite slouchy and i actually have a piece of like cardboard inside here that i put myself if not if you can see the bottom once you put anything inside it's really really slouchy so okay let's go right into the bag this bag is um, quite a good size although it does not fit a4 at all so the measurements are so measurements of this bag is okay i'm prepared today so it is about 11 uh, plus centimeters in length and then height it is about um 6.5 centimeters and the base measures about just three centimeters so it's not a huge bag but it can fit a lot as you can see it's so slouchy now i mean it's so like you know it's you can basically crumple it up um and the leather is really really soft and it is um kind of distressed goat skin so it comes with a strap as well uh i don't need to be hands-free so yeah let's see how it looks inside uh it is lined in fabric inside black fabric so you know it tends uh, dust tends to show up and this is the original these are the original tags that came along with the bag um yeah and then yeah i have this a little lock and then some coins so uh, inside the bag itself it has a zipper pocket and there's a balenciaga label here it just says balenciaga and then um two pockets here as well on the other side of the bag so it is quite a simple design i guess and then on the outside of course you have the pocket here and this is where i keep the mirror so i hardly i never use the mirror and this is the extra tassel i mean from the outer zip and then this is the mirror they can see here so i mean the mirror is useful i guess but i just hardly use the mirror and i just keep it in the outer pocket here i basically don't put anything in the outer pocket so mine is with the silver hardware as you can see <clears throat> it is a beige color almost like grayish um, which is a mixture of gray and beige so it is quite a neutral color in my opinion so um, i'm just gonna put back the cardboard that i did myself for the base and the organizer that i got and show you uh, what fits in terms of um, how this bag holds up it hold it held up really well as you can see so the hardware is still very shiny no problems with the zipper and then there are like lots of tassels everywhere a bit different uh, from my usual style i guess so i like to carry this on the crook of my arm like that and also um obviously i would you know carry it cross body with the um, strap but to be honest the strap says balenciaga everywhere and then um yeah at first i wasn't used so i still use it with the strap uh, even though it shouts balenciaga but the bag itself if you don't have the strap is like logoless so i really like that so first i have my chanel wallet that i use all the time uh, my nars uh, cushion and my new ysl lipstick which i really like that i'm wearing so i'll put it into the pockets in the organizer so the pockets actually quite useful i have little hand cream and then um, sunscreen from super good which is pretty uh, which is super really sorry super good actually 
so yeah spreads really well and then I actually use it on my face as well um, no reaction whatsoever I'll put the tag back in and then uh, I have my little notebook I like to carry notebooks and then of course I'll have a pen I'll just put it in as well and then I have scrunchy uh, a little hair clip concealer from Laura Mercier which is small which is very convenient so it's uh, still basically still has a lot of space so I have this book uh, Joseph Murphy power of the subconscious mind so definitely it can fit a full-size book as you can see a paperback paperback at least and if you want you can also add in a larger mirror so I got this as a gift from Jill Stewart one of my favorite makeup brands because it's so pretty and see it fits really really well and if you wish another lip product this is holly pop holy pop holica holica k beauty um lip tint which i really like it's cheap and nice and then labradorite one of my favorite stones so you know how i like to carry stones so there's still a lot of space left guys so you can definitely put another pen uh, if you want so it's pretty full and if you are not carrying a book you can definitely put in other stuff uh, you know like your tissue paper hand cream etc so overall i do recommend this bag actually it's a great casual worry free bag and it is quite um you know surprisingly it goes really well with dresses as well obviously like you know bohemian style kind of a uh, casual dresses or uh, summer dresses or you know sometimes i just use it for work and when i'm not like uh, going for meetings like formal meetings so this bag is really really versatile in my opinion and it is quite big so yeah this is how i usually carry it as i showed earlier so it's not all filled up and it's still not heavy <clears throat> which is what i like so if you if you mind about the crumple here then you know maybe this bag is not for you because no matter how you baby it it's still gonna show up like that it's not gonna be like you know all structured and boxy like um you know the typically the typical really really structured bag so this is the beauty of the balenciaga right it is the look itself i've already made it more structured by having the um cardboard and having the um samarga organizer if not the bottom here the bottom part here would actually um you know sink down when you put things inside in terms of the handles so i use the handles a lot actually i know that people usually have problems with um you know if you buy a pre-love balenciaga then this part usually it's a bit dirtier because you know you basically it gets handled all the time but i think mine still look okay uh the kind of the rope that they have you know basically braiding the handle it's not too dirty it's not dirty actually despite the light color so i like to think that i've been you know <laughs> Even though I haven't babied it, I've been using it pretty carefully, I guess, in that sense, like um, hand creams and all. I do try to like make sure my hand cream is absorbed before I carry any of my bags. So this is such a lightweight bag, guys. It is really, really good if you like um, to carry a lot of stuff, actually. So the reason, as you probably know, there's a larger size up. The reason I didn't get it is because I thought that was too big and that would be too slouchy. But I think for that one, you can definitely fit more stuff uh, definitely a4 size stuff so i have my mini ipad here so i'll show you that it actually fits as well and um usually i don't bother to zip up this bag because i just want to reach for my stuff easily especially when i'm not in crowded areas in relatively safe areas so i don't see a problem with that but if you like to zip it up it's fine also you can zip it up with all the stuff that i put in just now the ipad wallet um etc makeup you know whatever skincare items that you might have hand cream so this is a very very good um bag to invest in i think you know if you don't feel like buying full price of uh, retail you if you live in malaysia you can definitely order from mytheresa.com and actually it is cheaper than purchasing at the balenciaga store in malaysia uh, but you do have to pay a 10 percent customs tax and it is still cheaper Honestly, sometimes my, my Theresa has sales, so do watch out for that, you know, or they give out special codes. So it's always a great deal um, if you can snap one of those up. And apart from that, if you don't mind pre-loved, pre-owned, 
you know you can definitely get it on the definitely get it on the pre owned market as well for cheaper and um you know honestly Balenciaga the motorcycle bags which uh these bags you know are not I guess that hot anymore after so many years of being in the limelight but I still think it's great to have one of these. I probably will need to get another Balenciaga motorcycle bag and I don't really like the new bags that they have. Honestly, the ones with which look very, very structured, I think um, those look a bit strange, I mean, to me. So I'll probably just be keeping this and this would be my only Balenciaga bag. I used to really like the mini size as well. If that one comes in a really, really great color that I love, I might consider it. But I probably won't like get it at a full price or probably wait for a sale or something. Because it's not like high on my priority list. So I do hope um, you found this review useful and no worries about purchasing from mytheresa.com. They are a recognized retailer and I believe that um, Neiman Marcus now owns a stake in MyTheresa. So no problems with authenticity and stuff like that. Uh, it is a German company, by the way, from my research. So this bag, yep, great little bag. And um, I guess my only gripe is that, you know, it's quite hard to take on and off this thing, um, the strap. So I sometimes I do uh, struggle with it, but uh, it's a totally um, different look with the strap off, I think. And because this strap is really long, it does have a comfortable shoulder pad, unless unlike the Chanel 19, which is really hard. So this is really soft. So balance saga bags, I think in general, are quite comfortable to use. I actually like it more without the strap, but the strap is just useful. And another thing I think I, I would, I guess I would kind of complain is that the strap is really too long. I would prefer if the strap was like, you know, a bit shorter. So yeah, maybe because I'm not that tall, I'm 5'5". Five five. So yeah, this is my review of my Balenciaga City Bag and Small that I've had for over two years. So I think it is a very nice little bag it's not that little actually it's a very good size can fit more a lot more stuff than my usual bags because it's not as structured and the leather is good quality but you know not very thick so that's why it's not that heavy so if you're looking to purchase this bag you know i would um yeah say yes recommend you to go for it but do take note of what i said earlier you know you can wait for a sale or you can you know get it on the pre-owned market if you don't mind and there are so many colors to choose from so yeah, I hope you found today's video useful. It's just a short little video and I hope you have a wonderful day.